1961, so I know a lot about the history of the city. I currently work for Quinn Construction out of one of the chemical plants out of Joffrey, and sometimes I work out of Prentice. My wife is uh, Liz Seidman. Her maiden name is Elis Kubita. She's a member of the Filipino community. I really want to thank that community for their support uh, during this campaign and their inputs. And uh, sorry, can you hear me out there? What's your name? My last name is Y Z E R M A N. My first name is Calvin. My phone number is 403-509-5057. Call me with any questions. Uh, if you weren't able to hear me tonight, uh, give me a call and I'll help you out. Uh, and uh, for myself, the main thing I, I want to tell you is that this is my third time running. Uh, I've really had a lot of encouragement in the community. And so I really enjoy helping people with the issues. Thank you. You really need to project your voice. I'll do it. I know you will. No. My name is Lynn Mulder. And once again, I find myself excited to be seeking re-election to another term of Red Deer City Council. And it truly has been an honor and a privilege to serve the city of Red Deer for the past nine years. I made the decision to seek re-election thoughtfully and deliberately because I believe that the role of counselor carries with it an awesome responsibility. And I'm here tonight as a candidate because I believe that I can continue to make a difference to the quality of life for all citizens. The knowledge and experience gained during my past three terms, coupled with my personal and professional skills, will continue to provide me with a solid foundation with which to address the critical issues which our city will face in the future. I know that as seniors, Many of you struggle with affordability and accessibility issues in all aspects of your daily life. And as a council, we must continue to incorporate this reality into all of our decision making. We need to continue to hear from you, though, about how best to address these issues. Together, we have an exciting journey ahead, and I would be honored to continue to serve you for another term. Please vote Mulder on October 21st. Uh, my name is Frank Wong, and I'm honored to have served as citizens for the past nine years. I look forward to serving another term. I have demonstrated the dedication and drive to perform the duties of the city council, which I enjoy immensely. My knowledge, my knowledge and experience would be beneficial to provide the foundation for the new council. My informal survey uh, did not identify any common theme except the bike lane project. So I once again would try to champion a couple of issues which I have been advocating for years. One is that we need to work towards more balanced growth north of the Red Deer River and the east side of Red Deer. This means planning for residential and commercial area development close to the Queens Industrial Park. The other issue is that we need to improve traffic flow in the city through better synchronizing our traffic signals. We started the process with new software and we have a project that's on uh, 30th Avenue. If we elected, uh, Every successful individual knows his or her achievements depends on the community work of people together. My name is Donna Mori, and I understand that a minute is going to feel like speed dating here tonight for you people. I can only tell you that I've lived in Red Deer for 17 years, and I've been engaged for all those times as president of my community association with Parkville, and I continue to hear and work with the residents so that we can continue to have an amazing neighborhood. I want to make that possible for all communities. I've worked in the nonprofit, both large and small agencies, with seniors presently right now, and with youth and social services, culture, as well as owning my own business. I don't profess to know all of the ins and outs of council or the municipality, but I have the experience of working at multiple levels of government. And I am passionate and eager to represent you. I hope that you'll take the time to learn more about me tonight. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I just quickly want to start off with a quote that goes quite well with tonight. Politicians and diapers have one thing in common. They have to be changed regularly and for the same reason. <laughs> in many ways, you guys are going to hear from 30-odd people tonight why they should be elected. In all honesty, in my mind, at the end of the day, you'll have nine elected officials that you'll hear tonight. In all honesty, I cannot guarantee that I can lower your taxes or anything, or get 
province to do anything or the gov federal government. But in all honesty, I'm willing to work with the citizens of Red Deer, with Edmonton, and with Ottawa to make sure we do get a city that we will be proud of in years to come. And I'm and like, I forgot to say, my name is Matt Chapin, and it's like Mary Chapin Carpenter. If you know any of you know singers, and just remember to vote. My name is Kelvin Goulet Jones. Um, you know, a few weeks at, a few weeks ago at the farmers market, um, I had a gentleman come up to me and he said, Calvin, I have about a year or two left in the city until I have to move away. I, I, I asked him, well, why is that? He said, you know, the taxes, Calvin. These increases, I just cannot handle it anymore. It's on my electricity bill. It's on my water bill. It's I, the the tax increases are well above inflation year year after year after year. You know, the idea that we can tax above inflation year after year is absolutely ludicrous. We need change in this city. We need it badly. I am a voice for change. The status quo is not working. My name is Calvin Goulet Jones. I ask for your vote on October 21st. Thank you. My name is Troy Wabrican. I've lived in Red Deer for 13 years, growing up in central Alberta for 15. I'm the type of person that I've had people come up to me on the street, bus, anywhere, even where I work, <coughs> talk to me, express their feelings. And for that, I'm the type of person that you can count on to be the voice for Red Deer, for the little people, all the way up to the business people. We need major change to become a better city, increase the population, and let everyone have a voice of what they feel what Red Deer should be. On October 21st, please vote for me, Troy Wabrican. Hello, my name is Tim Lucida, and uh, I see many of you share my hairstylist. <laughs> uh, I'm a little hairstylist, I love it. Um, I've lived in Red Deer for 16 plus years now, having moved here from Saskatchewan and I've enjoyed living in Red Deer all this time. I've been an active participant in many levels of government at the, uh, at the civic level here, uh, fighting for the Arlington Hotel, trying to change the way the city looks at heritage properties. I've lent my voice to uh, issues from vaccinations to anything I feel like writing letters in the paper to. Uh, for the sake of this though, I, I would like to think that when I, if I'm elected councillor, I would like to make good decisions as much as possible every time. When we're in session, we have to make a good decision as much as we possibly can. If we make a bad one, we can't go back and remake it. Um, I guess my time is up, so thank you. Good evening. My name is Jerry Anderson, and I'm running for council with because of concerns that uh, all of us have. Accountability, debt, creativity. Uh, I grew up in a time, and I think by the looks of this room, most of us grew up in a time where going into, especially local politics, was considered a, a privilege. And you did it because you were doing it for your family, your neighbors, and your friends. You weren't doing it for a personal agenda. And that's my stance this time, is to get some accountability back into City Hall, at the council chambers and at the administrative level, to quit overspending on everything we do, to start getting projects coming in on time, on date, without having to work to be redone. In over five years with my business on Ross Street, we lost an average of one business a month downtown. People closing their doors, moving out of downtown or moving out of town. And now oil companies are moving out. Thanks. We'll just move this up a little. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Paul Harris. I moved here 23 years ago. And as our former mayor, Dale Sertan, used to say that once you've lived in Red Deer for six months, you start to grow roots and you'll never leave. I love this city and I'm not planning on leaving. <coughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank each of the council candidates that have put their names forward to run for this election. I think it's very important to our civic politics that people are willing to stand up for our city and do something for our community. 
And then secondly, I'd like to thank each of you for coming out tonight to listen to each of these candidates and make a wise decision at the polls. I'm currently a city councillor in my first term. During the last election, I promised to you that I would try my best to communicate with you, and I've done that on the streets, I've done that in the grocery stores, I've done that in the coffee shops, and I've even done that in the grueling space that we call social media. I prefer, of course, to speak to you face to face, and I'm always open to having a conversation and a coffee with you. Please feel free to call me. I hope that I can carry on the work that we've started with this council and uh, carry on doing some of the things that we've planned. If I'm not elected, it will have been an honor to serve you for the past three years. If I am, I'll keep going. I normally don't have to pull the microphone down somehow. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Serge Jaga, and uh, I'm running for city council. Um, I'm running for office, so I'm calling politics. I call it professional community service. I think that running for office is a noble and honorable thing to do. And I'm running because I love my community and I want what's best for it. I have lived in Red Deer since 1985. I'm currently in my 29th year of service at Red Deer College. I teach French and Spanish at the college. I'm at the point where I'm looking at retiring at the end of this year. Uh, that may happen a bit sooner than that, uh, depending on what happens on October 21st. And uh, I want to serve my community because I, I, I love the community. And um, I have many good years ahead of me, and I want, put, I want to put them to good use. Over the last 28 years, I've been involved in many, many aspects of the community, whether it's arts or culture or health or sports. One minute goes by really, really fast. <laughs> I'm Darren Young, and I always have to move the mic down. <laughs> um, I'm a member of the Red Deer First Group, but since that group dissolves in exactly 19 days, it's all about me tonight. Uh, my family and I moved here in 08, and uh, we fell in love with the city. We loved the beauty, the amenities. Most of all, we loved the great civic spirit that we felt here. It wasn't too long, though, after we, we moved that I started to notice with my professional eye some changes in the city. Increase in taxes, service fees, rising debt. But what really concerned me were the things that my family also noticed. And that was the fractioning of this great city. Uh, fractioning over issues that have been brought to council and through poor representation or poor response still continue to linger within the community. And I've served at the farmer's market for every week for the summer and, and I can't tell you how many people hit friend to friend, neighbor to neighbor and it's certainly causing an issue. That's when I decided to run. I want to make Red Deer great again. Thank you. I have enough lucky number 13. Uh, my name is Diane Weinches, and I am uh, running as one of your eight city councillors and a current city councillor. I thank you for your support, your communication, and your critique over the last three years. I'm 54 years old of age. I've been raised on farms in central Alberta, and I've lived in Red Deer since 1975. I'm married to my husband, Alan, who's a dairy farmer, but we live in the city. I've worked steady in Red Deer since age 15. I've been employed with the federal government, with the city of Red Deer in the 1970s, and I have a 30-year career with the Canadian Union of Public Employees in labor relations. That has given me grievance and, and negotiation skills, conflict resolution, mediation, and advocacy skills with provincial and federal levels of government. I left the position after my election in 2010 to dedicate myself full-time as a councillor. I have many years' experience on numerous boards in the city, and I'm currently a member of the Alberta Labor Relations Board and a Community Condo Association board member. I volunteer in my community with the Hospital, Hospital Foundation Cattle Roundup and support our local United Way. I ask for your support. Thank you. Jonathan Wheeler. And, uh... By the way, my name is fifth up from the bottom of your ballot. <laughs> I've lived in Red Deer for 17 years. I've worked in the oil field for eight years. I own a business, and this is the city that I choose to raise my family in. And because of that, I have vested interests in this community. I want to work to ensure that my kids have a bright and prosperous future. In high school, my principal made a speech that has stuck with me to this day. He talked about being involved in the community. He talked about building personal virtue and about being creative. And as a result of that speech, I started working out, I started donating blood, and I started volunteering in the community. Let me share my vision of the future of Red Deer with you. 
In the future, we will know we did it right if the most vulnerable member of our community is able to lead a healthy, active, happy, fulfilled life. In the future, we will know that we did it right if we've set a standard of environmental stewardship that is the envy of the world. And in the future, we will know we did it right if Red Deer continues to be a place where people love to live and want to stay. Please vote for me. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for being here. My name is Buck Buchanan, and I'm running for my third term on City Council. And uh, heard some people say that uh, we're going to make the city great. Uh, I think the city's great already. Uh, I've here, spent, here. I've spent about six. Uh, I've lived in six different provinces and uh, worked for about 30 years with the RCMP. And uh, believe you me, uh, I was at a conference here uh, not too long ago, and I had two gentlemen from Barrie sitting with me, and they said. What is it about Red Deer? Why does everybody know about Red Deer? And I said, guys, it's great. Uh, I was at a, the Mayor's uh, Recognition Awards and one of the speakers said, uh, you know what uh, makes Red Deer great? He says, it's, it's a place of volunteers, and it is. And uh, all of the people here, uh, congratulations for running uh, for council. It's not an easy job. Uh, recently there was an article in the paper uh, suggesting that uh, the change, change, change. Uh, it's a difficult thing to make change, uh, and uh, I will continue on with this as we go, but please vote for me on the 21st. Hi, my name is Terry Balgobin. I'm a husband, a father, and the owner of a small business in downtown for the past 23 years. I'm a graduate of Linda Thurber High School. I've lived in Red Deer for more than 30 years. I continue to volunteer in a variety of business and service organizations, and for the past 19 years I've been an active supporter of the special needs within the City of Red Deer through being a board member of Parkland Class. I've been six years as Chair of Habitat for Humanity, past President of the Red Deer Leeds Executive Association, member of the Red Deer East Rotary Club, just to name a few. After six years of, Habitat, of President of Habitat for Humanity, I see City Council as an opportunity to continue to serve my, my community. I believe that Red Deer is the best place to raise a family. Red Deer is a community built on solid Canadian family values. As a father of, of young children, I see what an abundance of opportunities available within our city. On October 21st, I hope to get your vote. Thank you. My name is Tanya Handley. I have lived in Red Deer for over 22 years. I am the mother of three beautiful children. My husband of 20 years is smiling in the back. <laughs> I have a background in banking that is instilled in me a great desire for good fiscal management. If I had to sum up my whole campaign in two words, something to stick with you tonight, it is common sense. <coughs> common sense is what I want to return to City Council and the decision making that has been going on. I felt very strongly that there have been decisions that have been made on Council that did not relate to good common sense, and that is something that I would like to return to it. Red Deer is a wonderful place to live. I love living here. This is why I'm doing this. It's been an exciting opportunity, and I hope to uh, be successful in it, and I ask for your vote for Tanya Handley on October 21st. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lawrence Lee. Uh, currently, I uh, serve on, as the chair, board chair for Red Deer Public Schools, but you can read that on my website, llbe.ca. Now, the reason I'm running for City Council is because I think City Council is a people business, and I'm a people person. I grew up in this com community. It's been part of me for my whole life. My wife of 22 years, yes, the same woman I've been married to, uh, was born here, along with my two daughters that were born here too, and I'm not going anywhere. I've had many opportunities to work in corporate Canada. I actually had an office in Toronto where I flew uh, on a weekly basis to go to Toronto and I would fly back and I always chose to stay here in this community. Um, I choose to serve the community because I don't believe it's the best thing to be uh, the best counselor in Red Deer. I think it's doing what's right and the best for Red Deer. 
That's what I stand for. I have a vision for this community that maintains the maintains what we, the good things that we've had, and I want to carry that forward. Vote for Lawrence Lee on May 4th. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, good evening. My name is Dan McKenna, and I live in I live in Eastview. And I would be delighted to be chosen to represent you people at City Council. I'd like the opportunity to direct the next four years of growth and management of the City of Red Deer. I believe we have to make safety and security a big issue. People hate their houses getting broken into and so on. Another very important issue that's dear to me is the I will pursue advocating for the disabled transportation in this city. It's lacking in great needs and it so we'll look after that if we can. Here's the microphone. And I want to make a difference for every single resident in Alberta in Red Deer, regardless of their your youngest citizens, right to our seniors. All of your concerns are important to me, and I will ensure your everyone's voice is heard. I'm asking you to vote for me October 21st, and thank you for your support in advance. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Gary Dickerson. I'm in the San uh, kind of stage. I have my looking after my parents, and I also have children and grandchildren. Raised in Red Deer, <clears throat> worked in Red Deer for the last 30 years, have a business in Red Deer, and right now I sit on the board of uh, Bold Prison and also the co-op board. I find Red Deer is a great place to live. I have a passion for Red Deer. I uh, have my sons living in Red Deer. We're buying houses in Red Deer. We're living in Red Deer, and I can't see any way moving away. I see a lot of familiar faces around here, and over the years, uh, my parents worked uh, in Michener for years, and then I came and I worked in Red Deer now myself. So I'm here to help you. I have a vision too. The vision is to work hard for you, and that's what I'm here for. And uh, if you have any questions, my four boys and a wife, and I've been married for more than 20 years. Thank you so much, Ed, but I'm much older too, so. And uh, my wife works in the hospital of Red Deer. So if you have any questions, vote for Gary uh, Dibrickson, and that's Dibrickson. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Dennis Moffitt, and I feel great. <laughs> and I want you to vote for Ben Ordman. <laughs> I have a prepared speech. I grew up in Red Deer, and I can actually say that uh, um, I played on the Sunnybrook farm when it was the Bauer farm with the Bauer boys, and I worked... Uh, for 15 minutes in their garden and it felt like 12 hours uh, and it was the best Kool-Aid I ever drank. Um, there's lots of great people here uh, um, but I'm sensing a lot of cynicism that isn't necessary. There's a lot of doom and gloom and oh you know the sky is falling, you know a bicycle lane has destroyed red deer. A counselor threw his hand up and said it's a disaster like a kid who has a bad haircut. It's a disaster. Uh, it's not a disaster, it, it's, a, it's an idea that needs to be revised and changed, but it's progressive. Red Deer is a great place to live, it's a fantastic place to live, and it's only getting better. <laughs> I've lived here 52 years, I've been married for 52 years to the same wife. We have four wonderful children, and thank you Red Deer for giving me those children their opportunity to grow up here. I want to thank the Golden Circle for giving us this opportunity, however briefly it is. Uh, I want to congratulate you, the voters. You've never had it so good. You've got 30 good candidates to choose from, and if you can't pick eight good ones out of 30, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I stand for a few things. I, I feel that the bicycles should share the sidewalks, not the roads that are too dangerous. dangerous for both of them. I'm for fluoriding the water. I think it helps our children. It doesn't hurt them. And it also enables those people who can't afford to go to the dentist a lot of protection. Those children need it. Thank you very much. Moffat's your man. <laughs> Thank you. Loud enough. Uh, my name is Steve Coop. Uh, on the ballot is Stephen. Is the legal name. Uh, I came here, I came here mostly to hear from you, um, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds. <laughs> Am I allowed to do that? Um, I think that our ability to vote is the greatest freedom that we enjoy. That's 
my primary message tonight. Um, I have a lot of uh, community issues that I could talk about, but I strongly believe that it's a group effort of the uh, future council that you elect. Uh, everybody has to work together in a cooperative way, and that includes all levels of government. Uh, I think Red Deer is a beautiful place, and we've got some fantastic people behind me. So uh, it's it's a great uh, it's a great opportunity, and we all look forward to the future. Thank you. Ignited by injustice and moved by purpose, a pure, pure, sorry, purity of purpose. I'm Janelle Spearing, and that is my mantra. I'm 50 years young. I've been married 29 years. I've spent the last 19 years raising two incredible young men. Red Deer's been our home for the past 12 years, and we instantly fell in love with the beauty and the amenities that it had to offer. I actually um, went to Marvell College in the first week that we moved here, so I took, took advantage of some of those amenities. Um, I'm not one to sit idle, so quickly I got involved in the community through family, family connections that we had through sports, school, and our church community. My background is dental assisting, home-based business owner, uh, office administration, and a bookkeeper. Over the years, I've served our community through numerous clubs, councils, leadership teams, committees, and conferences. I call that being in the trenches. And they provided a way for um, me to be in the community and also to uphold our family values. Thank you. Vote for Janelle and Good evening. I'm Betty Lynn Baker. I acted upon an opportunity that I have been given to run for City Council. My goals are to build strong relationships and maintain balance with budgets, business, social programming within this beautiful city we live in, Red Deer. I believe that by working together we can keep the vibrant volunteers and the activities that Red Deer has such an honoured place, name and locally, provincially, nationally and internationally alive and growing. I believe that we can achieve great recreational centres of world-class calibre, as well as attract new industry and economic growth through our cooperation and participation of conversations and physical work. I believe that I can make a difference with my leadership and organizational skills. I have lived in Red Deer, this wonderful community, for over 25 years. I have raised my three lovely daughters here, and I look forward to having my three great uh, grandchildren raised in this community as well. Please Thank vote you. Betty Lynn Baker. Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold, so I sound a little hoarse, that's why. My name is Victor Mobley, and the reason I wanted to run for City Council is because I felt that, and in my entire life, I've always felt that people need to give back to their community, and one of the best ways to do that is running for political office. Uh, me and my wife moved to Red Deer last year, in June, the reason we chose Red Deer is because of the anonymities that the city has. Uh, some of the things that always come to mind is when we were looking for a community to move to in Red Deer um, from British Columbia was a place that we could raise our kids and not have to have them move away like we were doing in our community. That was one of the biggest things that I saw um, when we were moving to Red Deer, just that we could build on this community and that's what I want to do as a city councillor. I ask for your vote on October 21st. Good evening everyone, my name is Ken Johnston. My family and I moved to Red Deer in 1996 when I was transferred here as a bank manager. I've served numerous boards since arriving and currently I serve on the boards of the Downtown Rotary Club and the Westerner Exposition. I'm running for council out of a passion to serve the city, to promote its growth and achieve its rightful place as the best place in Canada to live. Having recently retired from banking, I have the time it will take to be an effective and connected councillor. We must continue to preserve and promote our cherished quality of life as measured by financial management, community safety, infrastructure investment, wellness, and social stewardship. But a vision for growth must be weighed against operating and capital financing realities. The city will need councillors who can understand the need for growth, balance that, and collaborate with our partners in the social, private, and public sector. Please partner with me to build on our entrepreneurial legacy. I have the capacity and broad experience. Vote Ken Johnson, October 21. Thank you. Chloe Johnson, and I've been living in Red Deer since 1994. I'm very proud to be a participant in this election process. As a candidate, I would bring 
common sense thinking and I would back my words with action. I would work to rebuild public trust in our council. My decisions would be based on community. My community, my decisions would be based on community voice, not personal opinion or special interest agendas. Right now we are looking at a $284 million debt and we require the development of a repayment strategy. Our roads, we require more investment into our road infrastructure to accommodate the needs now and in the future. Our council needs to reaffirm their commitment to local partnerships and initiatives that are working to help our community grow and be strong. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Red Deer. My name is David Hill. Red Deer First, that's the vehicle that allowed me to get here, nothing more. We've used this group as a method to help like-minded citizens run for office. Incumbents and bankers attempt to cultivate fear of our group. I fear the incumbents and bankers. As of October 21st, the group will no longer be active. A quarter of a billion dollars debt. Bankers love the debt. That's approximately $2,500 per man, woman, and child living in Red Deer. So unless your toddlers and children have jobs to service their share of the debt, the family of four has a $10,000 city debt. How will this be fixed? Current council, who spent money on legacy building and pet projects, has a solution for the debt. And the bike lanes that 81% of respondents said failed. The solution? Let the next council deal with it. A quarter of a billion dollars and the bike lanes. Thank you. It's time for change. <laughs>